Yo, what's good guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time is a crazy one, but before I jump into it, I just want to say, as a disclaimer, please don't do anything I ever talk about in my story times, ever. This video is just for entertainment purposes only. I don't usually do disclaimers because I thought that it's just a given to not repeat actions that I talk about in these story times, but for the small, small percentage of people that don't know that, yeah, please don't do that. Please don't ever repeat anything you hear in a video. Anyway, today's story time takes place when I was 17, all right? I was having a normal day. It was a weekend. I was playing some COD. Now, at the time, I was hanging out with this girl pretty frequently. We weren't dating or anything, but we were just hanging out, and she invited me to hang out this day. I was like, yeah, for sure. I'll be there in like an hour. So I go over to her house an hour later, my friend drops me off, and I go inside. Now she wants to smoke. Now at this time, I wasn't smoking very much, I wasn't messing around with anything very much, I was actually pretty straight edge. Around this time, I was dealing with a lot of anxiety, so I didn't really want to do anything. But she was begging me to smoke with her. So me, trying to be as nice as I could, I did that. I shouldn't have, because it gave me a fuck ton of anxiety, but I smoked with her. And after we smoked, she's like, hey, would you want to do mushrooms with me? And I was like, no, I'm sorry. Like, smoking's the most I'll do tonight. Like, I just can't handle that right now. And she was like, oh, come on. Like, don't leave me hanging. And I was like, look, I'm sorry. Like, I'm already kind of anxious right now. If I do that with you, I'll be even more anxious. And I just won't have a good night. And she's like, please, like, please. And she starts begging me. And I was like, no, I'm sorry. Like, maybe one day, but not today. And she was like, all right, well, can we at least smoke some more? And even that was a lot for me at the time. I was like, I don't know if it's a good idea if I smoke some more. And she's like, please. I'm like, all right, fine. So me and her smoke again. And at this point, I am like uncomfortably high. Like just very, very off this planet. So off this planet that I will literally eat anything. So I tell her that. I'm like, yo, I am starving. I will eat anything right now. She's like, you want a sandwich? I'm about to make one. I'm like, yeah, for sure. And she goes, all right, peanut butter and jelly cool. I'm like, always. So she goes in the kitchen and she comes back out with this giant triple decker peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like this thing was thick. Like it was a thick boy. All right. And she gives it to me. And this thing has so much peanut butter on it. Like I bite into it and it was taking forever to chew. Like there was so much peanut butter and bread and just everything. And I noticed, I'm like, this is like a super chewy sandwich. Like it felt weird. Like the texture of it felt really weird. But then I thought about it for a second and I'm like, wait. I'm really high right now. Like, I'm definitely just overthinking that. So I end up eating the entire thing with no questions asked. And we're just sitting there watching Netflix. We spent like the whole next hour watching Netflix. And she looks at me and she starts smiling. And I was like, why are you smiling right now? She goes, do you feel it yet? I'm like, uh, feel what? The weed? She's like, no, the shrooms that I put in your sandwich. I'm like, are you fucking serious right now? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, you put mushrooms in that sandwich you gave me? She's like, a little bit. I'm like, oh, how much? Like, how much was it? She's like, I don't know. I didn't measure it, but it was probably enough to do the trick. I'm like, yo, I'm out. And I got up and I left because I was seriously pissed. Like, it's one thing to keep asking me to do something with you, but to then force me to do it without my knowledge of it, like just slipping me something, that's just so messed up. So I left. Now, I'm just walking the streets in the middle of the night with no direction, like no idea where I'm going. So I'm just walking around, just lost, basically. And I was pretty nervous. I was like, yo, like, are these going to kick in anytime soon? Like, did she not give me enough to feel anything? Like, hopefully that was the case because I just wasn't mentally prepared to trip. So luckily, I felt a little bit strange after like she told me I felt pretty like almost cold and I saw more vivid colors but I wasn't seeing like intense visuals. Now I ended up walking outside for like an hour after I left her house. I just kind of walked around and like, you know, tried to stay calm and I didn't really see much or feel much. Like I said, just kind of more vivid colors and kind of cold, but it was pretty cold outside. So, you know, that's probably why, but I didn't end up seeing or feeling too much. I was actually pretty much fine. I don't think she gave me enough to make me trip balls, which was a good thing, but I don't know if she did that intentionally or if it was just an accident. Because it seemed like she was trying to give me enough to make me trip with her. Um, But yeah, the next day I woke up to a text message from her. Just basically apologizing and telling me that she would never do it again. And yeah, she was sorry about it. 
And I forgave her because I was just trying to be nice. But yeah, I didn't really hang out with her much after that. And whenever we would hang out, I would not take food from her. Like anytime she would offer any kind of food, even if it was just delivery, I was like, nah, I'm okay. Because I'm not trying to eat a piece of pizza and then go to La La Land. Like I'm just not trying to do that. But yeah, in the end, I was okay. And that's good. Moral of the story is do not do what she did ever. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story time. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace. Waste my life, I can't.